before the interval. It's been brisk business. 18 seconds a shot, average from both of them. 18 minute frame, then an eight and a five. It's good going. Yeah, excellent going, Hazel. Both players. Last frame before the mid session interval. Better break off here from Mark Allen. There's the match time, just 32 minutes. Wow. Yeah, next time you're in the club playing, play three frames of snooker and see how long it takes. <laughs> Is that just checking Mark? He's going to play across the face of this red cue ball back into Bork. But what you don't want is the red going across and hitting another one, promoting it towards the corner. Went onto the black, that was fine. Slight miss hit that, but it's turned out okay. <coughs> Ronnie may clip this red onto the black, try and bring the black into play here. Concentrating on getting that cue ball up behind the green, and that's a very good return. I like the spirit of the way this match is played in as well, John. Both players saying good shot to each other, you know, it's played in a very good spirit indeed. Yeah. Both trying for the life to win, but they both appreciate each other's talents, that's for sure. Just having a look to see if he stuns this red away from the black. Can he get the cue ball tied in behind the black and snook on Mark Allen here? It's going to be almost touching. Oh, didn't hit that well at all. He could find himself in trouble after his when he comes to the table next. Yeah, nice target, isn't it? Between area of yellow and brown. Didn't get him behind, but not a bad shot. Don't think he can see enough of that red, or can he? Yes, he can. Safety exchanges, particularly with two people who are so adept at break building. We've seen in the last two frames, 101 and 74. If you make a mistake, you're going to sit down and watch for a while. enough of the gap between the blue and the pink to hit that red just to the left of the pink so he's just going to try and lay on this red left of the black here it's all about pace here and weight of cue ball it's 
Phillips looks pretty good. Can't really get in behind anything off the shot. So if you can just try and rest on the brown, wouldn't be a bad shot. Full ball would be even nicer. <laughs> Makes that two more difficult. Yeah, slightly different options now, Mark Allen with this one. Play off this red, leaves the cue ball, blocking the left hand side off. So down in the bulk area, cover the left hand side of the pack, make it more difficult. Very good. This is a big shot if he's taking this on. Please make sure those devices are switched off, please. Q in that was, and you were talking about how good his long game's been. That was brilliant. Oh, fantastic. Well, you can't Q any better than that, John. Oh, it's just... Now he's, he's got a nice angle as well. He said it struck it so well, he's got perfect on the blue here. Just have a look at this again. Kept his head lovely and still and pushed that Q through in a nice straight line. Just wondering, will he bring the pink into play here? Doesn't have to, there's a couple of reds available, but. Decided not to on this occasion. But he's gonna need that. Six. Certainly the pink or the black back on its spot in an open play to win the frame from this position. He's got a chance to do it in the minute, can, hasn't he? Off Seven. three quarter ball, a half ball blue. He can certainly go into them now. I know he's taking a bit of a chance doing it, but it's worthwhile. Yeah, if you can get some sort of cannon there. Well, again, and that is surprising. It's not like Ronnie O'Sullivan missed an opportunity Twelve. there. I'll bring the pink into play. problem about keep going back up for blue is 13. you've got to get top side of the blue each time and if you don't or come straight just like he has now you're going to be playing a red for mid distance Eighteen. just puts a bit of pressure on this shot now Nineteen. He couldn't have played that any better. Yeah, it's almost as if he's gone cherry picking here, isn't he? Just taking individual reds off. Not taking that chance of cannon into the pink. 
And he got a chance now. Pop this. 24. Screw back for the blue again and hopefully bring the pink into play. 25. There you go. So he went about it a different way, <laughs> but he's got there. He's got there in the end, and what a wonderful shot. I mean, he's played that left-handed, and he's judged it absolutely perfect. Just have a look how sweet he hit that. And perfect top side of the blue. Brought the pink and the red. And the red that's covering the pink spot. If he can get on that here, he'll free up everything. Well, he tried to just overrun it slightly. 30. Yeah, no problem. Green's absolutely perfect. I'm going to choose the reds he can play down. One below the pink will be available with a screw shot. 34. Already this has been a wonderful contribution. He's looked so focused. 35. Not quite as he would have liked. I'd have preferred a thinner cannon off the pink there. And just drop it in for the red on, on the right hand side of the table. Forty-one. Coming around, just have a quick look. Does the pink pot into the Bottom left-hand corner pocket. If it does, you can just put this left-handed again. Pink or blue will be his choice here. 42. He wants to be nice and straight on this blue now into the bottom left-hand corner pocket. Looks OK. This really has been a wonderful break, hasn't it, John? Uh, it's been my favourite break so far. We've had 101 and a 74. Mark Allen's was brilliant in the last frame, but this is just wonderful. 45. To be honest with you, Ken, didn't look on, did it? Mm. He came to the table. 48. And he's not had absolutely ideal position through it. He keeps finding a way. Yeah, a little grimace there from Ronnie O'Sullivan. He's just slightly out of position here. OK, he can pot the blue, but... when well, you see where he wants to leave the cue ball. After potting this blue, pink is on as well, but much more dangerous. The only thing I would say is the way he's been queuing and his faith in the method that he's been using with Steve Feeney, I think he'll fancy this pink. Fifty-four. Mark Allen, look how well I'm hitting it, bud. Great shot. Got a shot of Steve Feeney there. The sight right coach. Gentleman in the middle there. This has been an incredible break. An incredible standard, John, it has to be said for OK, the first frame is a little bit 61. bitty, but after that, it's been one chance. 62. Of course, all of this, Ken, 69. comes off the most magnificent opening red. 
I mean, Mark Allen was applauding this one, sitting in his chair. <laughs> Well, you couldn't, you couldn't have cured it any better, could you? He must have been sitting in the chair thinking he was proud of himself, the safety he played, because it looked like he'd got him in a bit of trouble. And then he produced this, and I have to be honest with you, I don't think there's anybody else in the game could have made a break like this. This has truly been sensational. Yeah, just the way he went about it, he had a couple of chances to open up 82. the pink early. As you said, just picking off the reds beautifully. Although he just missed a little cannon on that red left of the black. It's been a wonderful contribution. Artist at work. Simple as. Right. Oh, I never could play position, Ken. Ladies and gentlemen, that was fabulous. What an opening session. A little nervy the first frame, but it's been nothing but brilliant since then. 101, 74, and that contribution of 85 from O'Sullivan. What a final already. It's two frames all at the interval.